Hello, 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 and welcome back to Drams for Dummies. I am the biggest dummy of them all, Brett, and it has been way, way, way too long. I we uh, we just took a vacation. A little uh, foreshadowing. Uh, uh, to honor my father with a cruise that was his favorite thing to do. We went through Caribbean, and our first stop was Barbados. So the music right now is Rihanna, because that is, they are so proud of Rihanna in Barbados. So, and I don't know a ton of Rihanna. It's not my number one uh, jam for sure. Um, I've heard bits and pieces, but I couldn't really tell you anything she sings. I'm sorry to all, all you Rihanna fans. I know she's awesome. Um, but I pulled it up on Ye Olde Spotify, and this song that's running right now, what is it called? Uh, hold on. I gotta, get, I gotta DJ it out for you. We Found Love, her number one hit maybe, probably. 1.5 billion, billion streams of this song on Spotify. I mean, I'm, it, it's, it's, it's impressive. I mean, I'm close to that many streams on YouTube with my channel. So, I mean, it's like me and Rihanna. We're like neck and neck. But anyway, um, I'm glad to be back at my counter drinking, first and foremost, but drinking with and for you. So this is a, this is a, it's drams for dummies. So dram can be anything. So I have the freedom in this channel, one, because my, my channel, and two by name to do whatever the heck I want, as long as it's, it's a, in a proper glass and uh, it's a proper pour of some sort of thing. But typically it's a whiskey. <clears throat> I am not a rum. I'm not a big rum guy. I have one uh, 14 year bourbon barrel aged rum in there, but I think it's like an 80 proof whatever. It's smooth, it's rich, it's nice. I just bought it kind of out of curiosity one time. It's the only rum I, th I think I've ever bought, maybe minus a whatever, a Malibu or a something back in the day. But we went on the Mount Gay. Uh, Distillery tour, which if you're going through the cruise line, I would say don't, and you're a bourbon, you're a distillery person, you've done the tours, it's not really a distillery tour, it's a it's a 10 minute video about their distillery, a little bit of a, a, a walk through with a guide, and then you taste four things, which was cool. It was cool to taste the things. They've got some really neat stuff down there. They've got some aged stuff. They've got an XO that's a sherry cask finished that's really good. But the thing that, that drew me was this black barrel cask strength and again put in the comments below if you're a rum person maybe you know better than i do i don't see a lot of cask strength rums i always i feel like they're always in those 80 90 proofs everything that they poured for us the four things they did pour for us were 90 proofs they're all down at 90 this comes in at 132 so right away i was like i i kind of feel like i need to buy that and they wouldn't let you taste it down there so nice little trick there. And it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like 60, 65 bucks. Um, but I wasn't going to buy it because, again, I'm not a rum guy. And second of all, um, I don't really want to have to transport it back and all that jazz. Uh, but, again, this trip was uh, to honor my father. And my justification was I don't buy a lot of, of knickknacks. I don't buy a, a, you know, I don't get the swag or the hat or the T-shirt or anything that says I've been here. So I thought, you know what? This is something I'm very curious about. I want to try this 132 proof rum, and it's always going to be, um, or for a long time, be in my on my shelf and be a nice remembrance of a fantastic trip that we took in honor of my dad. So, without further ado, I of course have to drink it with you guys. It hasn't been cracked at all. You can see there we've got the the seal. Um, you don't know all, there's not a lot of facts on this. I mean, I think all of their stuff is three to seven. It's a blend of three to seven year old, um, uh, rums, obviously all distilled on site there at the Mount Gay uh, facility in, in Barbados. And then it says that they're finished in American whiskey barrels. Um, and then they're aged in, I'm sorry, American whiskey barrels and finished in bur in heavy char bourbon barrels. So, you know, with rum, there's not the same rules, so I don't know if the original aging was, is occurring in used whiskey barrels, which would make sense, or if that's a new oak 
It's just a just like a, a the, the build and style of the oak whiskey barrel, and then they coat and put it into a um, used bourbon barrel. That might be what it is. That would make some sense. That's all I really know. Without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, let me take that out there so I don't bust it. Oh, Rihanna, holy cow! Uh, <laughs> She shot out like a, I don't know, there's probably some song reference I could make right there that'd be really, really smart, but I can't make it, so. All right. Rum. 132 proof rum. Let's see what this is all about. Boop, boop. I would say while this is sort of, while I'm doing this and putting it back up on my custom-made stand by VIP Joel, um, that, uh, if I was going to go to Barbados for any reason, whether it's through a cruise or on vacation or, you know, you're taking your private yacht down there. We saw a few of those in the, in the Caribbean for sure. If you're going to take your $300 million yacht or whatever down there, I didn't really do any research ahead of time. I just It was a trip to just go and do the excursions that the cruise line offered. But the pro tip, I think, is to go, hey, we're going to Barbados. What can I do there and maybe do my own thing? And realizing after the fact that Foursquare – is down there, and if you know Foursquare, they do some really ridiculously high-end stuff. And I don't know if they have a distillery tour or not, but that's what I would have liked to have done. Really do a, a distillery tour, do something really high-end. Uh, but again, this was really this was nice, and for what it was and the time, this was a cool, cool event. So I was taken again. Every rum's going to be different. Um, every company that and their just and their you know how they do their process is gonna be different. This one's interesting and maybe again not being a rum guy maybe it's as common. They do they do combinations. They do a lot of they do pot still and column still and they have like two different or three different styles of of, of each. Like they they I don't know what determines how they're which what they distill and on which which process they use, but it's like they're they're end product is sort of a combination of lots of distillation um but i was taken i was kind of surprised in, in the moment in all the distractions of tasting these things with a big room of chaos um very it, there was a lot of bourbon-esque quality to their to their rum so I'm, i've got high expectations for this so um, all right let's see what we've got here <laughs> Maybe there's a reason they don't do cast strength rums. I did not take, I have not had anything to drink in two days, actually. Kind of detoxing from the cruise. Um, whew. That is, that is, that is fire. That is fire, fire. I'm, I'm, I'm. Um, umbrella, 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 umbrella. Um, I should have drank something first. This this is a bad call to go to 132 proof right out of the chute in a rum at that. But it is hitting. You definitely get the butterscotch. It's you're getting a lot. You're getting that rum rumminess in there, but um, there is the oak in there. But it is punching you in the face with its proof and its ethanol. Let me just get a little little pull here first, and maybe that'll wake everything up and get me all in, in balance. That did not get into the mouth and light on fire. I thought that was going to be like a hot, just fuel, just rocket fuel. It got in there, filled the mouth, smooth, rich, um, molassesy. Um, again, it was my first drink, so I don't want to take too much stock into it. But for 132 proof, and thinking, you know, again, rum we know is a little being sugar based is tends to be smoother, sweeter. So that played there. Um, very unique, very, very interesting. I'm already really excited. I'm, I'm really happy I bought this now. Uh, at the very least, we talk about, you know, if you watch me, some of my stuff before, the, the, some of the fun of, of, the, of this game and the whiskeys and the bourbons, and in this case, the rums or the good tequilas, is to have a bottle on your shelf that's got a story. So it, the how you got it, the who you shared it with, the the what's its origins, the how is it made. Um, and so this one being 132 proof um, with a little bit of story behind it, 
I feel like it's already interesting and to pour it for someone again who's maybe a whiskey drinker, a, a bourbon drinker, uh, or a rum drinker. I think this is going to be one that could play for anybody. But let me. It's really waking up. Really, there's some tons of the rich, you know, caramels and, and molasses and toffees and butters, all those rich sugars, of course, that makes a lot of sense, um, are, are down in there, giving tons of foundation. But on top of that is bright, like apple, baking spice. I mean, this is... This is like a drunk, drunken caramel apple, heavy. I don't even say caramel apple. I would say like a toffee apple. That's really good. That is so good. I, I, I'm kind of like I'd like to almost do it in a blind with some bourbons because I or give it maybe in one of my episodes I'll throw it into some with somebody where it, where I think it might play um, to see if they pull out that this is something different because. I'm tempted to say that if you didn't know this was a bourbon, you would praise this as an amazing bourbon if you like the rich, you know, layered, good viscosity. Um, the It's not drinking hot at all. Super sweet. Oh my gosh. I, I, I've got my book out to score. I, I, I guess I'll score it. The nose is really, really interesting. That's a nine. Nine nose, that's crazy good. It's really sweet and nice. It's really nice. It is really nice. Um, it's not super complex. Um, you know, again, that comes from, you know, what, you know, what's the mash bill? You know, it's a sugar. There's not a lot of things to do in that. Um, a little bit of a little Barbados hug in there. <laughs> it kind of war it's warms through. It's nice. There's nothing tricky happening. There's no back burn. There's no sizzle for better and worse. It just it's just easy. And then it kind of ooh, smooth. This is just a very relaxing, enjoyable uh, uh, drink. Um, I think I'm gonna stay with 7.5 on the palate, and then on the finish. Just, it, there's nothing offensive, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing to knock it down for, other than it's not doing a whole lot. Um, so I kind of just feel like I'm going to go 6.5, just to, just to be there. Um, okay, so, score breakdown time. Nose, 9. Smells amazing. Lots of fun in there. Palette, comes down a little bit off the nose, but it's still rich and smooth and sweet and relaxing and easy. Like I'd want to drink this around a fire all day long. This, this, this just feels like, and if you put it in a cocktail, you can make it something summer, but it feels like fall and winter to me. Um, so good, fills the mouth, viscous, rich, um, but not real complex. So I went 7.5 on the palate and then the finish just fine and a little bit of fun kind of warmth here. Um, so I just kind of went with a 6.5 on that. So all of that ends up making it a 7.7, .7, which, you know, for a rum, um, it's a pretty darn good score. Uh, it's not top shelf, um, but it might live on the top shelf or a top shelf somewhere sometime just for the uniqueness of the story. And again, when you factor in, like everything we do, the memory, the where you got it, the the, the why do you even have this bottle? What's the bottle mean to you? Is it, you know, um, we've heard that in some of my guests, right? Um, you know, Joel talked about the bottle was good, and then all of a sudden he started when he started nosing it, he started thinking of Christmas and grandparents and memories, and now just that that bottle just elevated to like being his number one bottle because of that. So when you factor in that, you know, maybe you give this a, a one point bump for sentimentality and now it's an 8.7 and now you can justify it being on your top shelf. So either way, thanks for just, I, you know, hadn't drank with you guys for a while. So missed you. Thanks for joining me to, uh, to talk about a rum for, of all things, Mount Gay, uh, Black Barrel, uh, sing, uh, Cast Strength. Uh, sorry. If you can, if you can get it, I don't, I don't think they sell it online or anything. So I, 
this is kind of one like what's the point of the, of the review i don't know um just to say hi just to hang out just do something fun with you there'll be a lot more coming i got two more bottles sitting right here i've got a blind barrels box back there there's all kinds of things happening but for tonight and for right now thank you guys so much for joining me whatever you're doing you're awesome love you guys as long as what one of those things is is subscribing and liking and following and sharing and supporting what we're doing here then i absolutely love you if you're not doing those things you're fine i'm not going to hold it against you but it can't go to full love so thank you guys